true masterpieces of technology and engineering, with astonishing speeds that break the sound barrier, defy the laws of physics, and conquer new horizons. Where engineering and technology come together to challenge the limits of flight, true landmarks of aviation, from war machines to commercial jets. Empowering us to fly higher, faster, and farther than we ever imagined, a symbol of inspiration, imagination, and innovation, showing the world what is possible when we strive to challenge technological boundaries. At the forefront of aerospace technology and engineering, we are witnessing the realization of dreams once considered impossible. These wonders of science and engineering go beyond, surpassing the boundaries of imagination and exploring new horizons that were previously only dreams. Now let's discover together the 10 fastest airplanes in aviation history and an extra content at the end of the video. Don't forget to leave a like and comment to let us know what you think and so that we can continue to produce more incredible content for you. When compared to the normal speeds of our daily lives, such as cars, modern commercial airplanes fly at a high speed. However, commercial planes are nowhere near as fast as the fastest planes ever produced by humans, which are mostly military fighter jets or experimental projects. For comparison, a traditional plane like the 747-8 can reach a maximum speed of around 1,041 km per hour, or a 737-800 at 946 km per hour. Number 10. Sequoia Su-27 Flanker the Sukhoi Su-27 is a high-performance fighter jet capable of flying at speeds up to Mach 2.02 or 2,500 km per hour, but it's not just fast, it's also extremely maneuverable, making it a real threat in the air. The Sukhoi Su-27 Flanker is a fighter jet developed by the former Soviet Union in the 1980s. The goal was to create a plane that could take on the best American fighters of the time, like the F-15 and F-16. The first time the Su-27 flew was on May 20, 1977, and since then it has become one of the most respected fighter jets in the world, known for its combination of speed, maneuverability, and firepower. It is one of the most feared fighter jets in the world. The Su-27 has been exported to several countries, including China, Ukraine, and Vietnam, and is regularly used in air acrobatics competitions. It is a remarkable and important fighter jet in the history of military aviation, and continues to be one of the most advanced and respected fighter jets in the world. Number 9. McDonnell Douglas F-15 Eagle The F-15 Eagle is a high-performance fighter jet developed in the United States. Since its launch in the 1970s, the F-15 has been one of the most successful and respected fighter jets in the world, known for its combat and air defense capabilities, as well as its impressive speed and range, reaching up to 2,665 km per hour. The F-15 has an enviable combat record, having never been defeated in an official air battle. Your combat record is impressive, with over 100 enemy aircraft losses without any F-15 combat aircraft losses considered one of the most advanced fighter jets of its time. Thanks to its long-range radar and the ability to carry a large amount of armament, the F-15 has been used by several countries, including Israel, Japan, Saudi Arabia, and South Korea, and is widely considered one of the most successful fighter jets of all time. In terms of design, the F-15 is known for its imposing appearance, making it one of the most iconic fighter jets ever produced and has been successfully used in many other military operations around the world, an important milestone in military aviation history and continues to be a feared fighter jet to this day. Number 8. F-111 Aardvark The F-111 Aardvark is a multi-role attack aircraft developed in the United States in the 1960s, designed to perform air attack, reconnaissance, and intelligence missions, as well as being able to carry nuclear weapons. The F-111 was widely used during the Vietnam War and has a speed of 2,665 km per hour. The F-111 was the world's first operational variable geometry aircraft and was designed to be highly maneuverable even at high speeds, making it capable of performing surprising acrobatic maneuvers to avoid enemy missiles. The F-111 was also known for its fly-in-fly-out capability, meaning it could quickly enter and exit a combat area undetected. It was widely used by several countries, including Australia, the United Kingdom, and the US, and is considered one of the most versatile and successful combat aircraft of all time. Number 7. MiG-31 
The MiG-31 is an interceptor aircraft developed in the former Soviet Union in the 1970s. It is known for its high speed, ability to fly at high altitudes, and its ability to intercept enemy missiles, making it one of the most advanced interceptor aircraft of all time. The MiG-31 is considered one of the fastest aircraft in the world, with speeds of up to Mach 2.42 or 3,000 km per hour. It was designed to meet the air defense needs of the Soviet Union during the Cold War, and its performance impressed military personnel around the world. It was the first fighter to use a two-stage jet engine, providing greater cruising speed and range. The MiG-31 is equipped with advanced radar, including a passive radar system that allows it to detect targets at long distances, and it was the first interceptor aircraft to be equipped with long-range missiles capable of intercepting enemy missiles at long distances. It is widely used and is considered a key component of Russia's air defense. Number 6. North American XB-70 Valkyrie The North American XB-70 Valkyrie was a high-speed supersonic air supremacy prototype bomber developed by North American Aviation in the 1950s. With its futuristic appearance and ability to reach supersonic speeds, the XB-70 quickly became a symbol of advanced aerospace technology of the time. The aircraft was designed to fly at speeds above Mach 3, or 3,300 km per hour, but its maximum speed was limited to Mach 2.7. It was designed to fly at such high speeds that it could not be intercepted by fighter jets of the time. It was built in the late 1950s and first flew in 1964. The XB-70 had a variable geometry wing configuration, allowing the wing to move up and down increasing its maneuverability at high speeds. The aircraft was also equipped with six dual propulsion jet engines, allowing cruising speeds of over Mach 3. Unfortunately, the XB-70 development program was cancelled after only two prototypes were built, due to changes in U.S. defense priorities and the high cost of the program. However, the legacy of the XB-70 lives on as a milestone in aerospace technology history and an inspiration for future high-speed flight developments. It remains the largest aircraft to have reached a speed of Mach 3. Number 5. Bell X-2 The Bell X-2 was an American experimental aircraft designed to investigate high-speed and high-altitude flight characteristics. It was developed in the 1950s and made its first flight in 1955 designed to fly at speeds faster than any previous aircraft, reaching up to Mach 3.2, which is approximately 3,370 km per hour. During its test flights, the Bell X-2 was piloted by Charles E. Yeager, the first man to break the sound barrier. He flew the Bell X-2 on September 14, 1956, reaching a maximum speed of Mach 3.2. The Bell X-2 was also the first aircraft to exceed an altitude of 100,000 feet. Unfortunately, its career was short-lived, in 1956, it crashed and exploded after a test flight, resulting in the death of the pilot, Milburn Abt, who lost control of the plane. The cause of the crash is still unknown, but the plane's crash led to the interruption of X-2 production. Despite its difficulties, the Bell X-2 is considered an important milestone in the history of experimental aviation. It helped provide valuable information on high-speed and high-altitude flight characteristics, and the information obtained in its production was fundamental to the development of future aircraft. To this day, many modern aviation technologies are based on the advances made by the Bell X-2. It was the first aircraft to break the sound barrier and reach extreme altitudes. Its legacy is felt to this day, bearing witness to the pioneering and daring spirit of the time in which it was developed. Number 4, MiG-25 The MiG-25 was a high-altitude supersonic fighter developed by the Soviet Union in the 1960s, it was the fastest and highest combat aircraft of its time, capable of flying at speeds of up to Mach 3.2, approximately 3,500 km per hour, and reaching altitudes of up to 25,000 meters or 82,000 feet, aiming to be a high-speed interceptor capable of fighting strategic reconnaissance aircraft. It had a unique aviation system that allowed the pilot to accelerate at an incredible speed within seconds. In addition, the MiG-25 was designed to operate at extremely high altitudes, which allowed it to escape many enemy air defense systems. The MiG-25 is known to have been one of the first aircraft equipped with an advanced electronic defense system, including radar detectors and jammers, allowing it to evade enemy threats. 
It was equipped with two turbojet engines, a sophisticated weapon system, and a long-range radar to detect enemies at great distances, and was also capable of carrying long-range missiles for its air combat. The MiG-25 is a milestone in military aviation history and is still the fastest fighter ever produced. Its speed and advanced technology make it an impressive presence in the sky. Number 3, Lockheed SR-71 Blackbird. The SR-71 Blackbird was a supersonic reconnaissance aircraft developed by Lockheed Corporation in the United States during the 1960s, reaching speeds above Mach 3.3 or 3,529 km per hour, and altitudes above 25,000 meters or 82,000 feet. The SR-71 was designed to perform reconnaissance missions at high altitudes and speeds. The SR-71 was used by the United States Air Force between 1964 and 1998 to carry out high-risk reconnaissance missions, such as the surveillance of foreign military installations. It was also used to monitor the Soviet ballistic missile program, as well as to track nuclear weapons testing. With its unique aerodynamic design, the SR-71 was able to achieve maximum speeds of over 3,500 km per hour. In addition, the aircraft was equipped with advanced reconnaissance technologies, such as high-resolution cameras and electronic listening equipment. The SR-71 was designed to be an extremely durable and difficult-to-detect aircraft. It was equipped with turbojet engines, which took it to such high speeds that it resulted in distortions in the fuselage due to the high temperatures encountered during its flights, requiring a thermal shielding system. However, this did not prevent it from continuing to carry out successful missions throughout its career. The SR-71 was also designed to be extremely agile, with high-speed maneuvering capabilities, as well as a low-emission radar system, which made it almost invisible to anti-aircraft defense systems. Its aerodynamic design and powerful engines allowed it to reach speeds and altitudes never seen before. To this day, the SR-71 Blackbird is remembered as one of the most sophisticated aircraft in history, with its advanced design and unparalleled performance. Number 2, Lockheed YF-12. The YF-12 was an experimental military aircraft developed in the 1960s to be used as a high-altitude interceptor. It was designed as an armed reconnaissance version of the Lockheed A-12, which served as the basis for the development of the SR-71. In 1959, the CIA selected a design to develop a high-altitude high-speed reconnaissance aircraft that could overcome enemy defenses. This project would become the YF-12, and after years of development and rigorous testing, the YF-12 was finally completed in 1962. With a top speed of 3,661 km per hour and a maximum altitude of 80,000 feet, the YF-12 was one of the fastest and highest-flying aircraft to this day. It was equipped with advanced armaments, including air-to-air -air missiles. It was developed to replace the U-2 in the high-altitude reconnaissance mission but also had the ability to intercept ballistic missiles. It was first completed and tested in 1963, having reached speeds of up to Mach 3.2. Although it was a technical success, the aircraft was never widely used in military missions and was eventually replaced by the more advanced SR-71 Blackbird. It was discontinued in the late 1960s due to financial problems, but a remaining aircraft from the program continued to be used by NASA for high-speed flight studies and propulsion system tests. The aircraft remained in operation until 1979, when it was permanently retired. Number 1. North American X-15. The X-15 was a hypersonic experimental aircraft powered by a rocket engine, developed in the 1950s, designed to fly at extremely high altitudes and speeds, and was the first aircraft to surpass the space boundary by exceeding 80 kilometers of altitude, a criterion used by the United States Department of Defense for assigning astronaut status. The X-15 set several records for speed and altitude, including the world record for speed by a manned aircraft, of 7,273 kilometers per hour in 1967, a record that still stands today. The X-15 test program also played a key role in developing technologies that would later be used in spacecraft, such as the Space Shuttle. Designed to test hypersonic flight technologies, achieving higher speeds than any other aircraft before it, the X-15 was launched from AB-52, reaching speeds of up to Mach 6.85.
conducting 199 test flight missions between 1959 and 1968, and is still considered one of the greatest achievements of experimental aviation. Future Projects Skylon Skylon is a British hypersonic airplane project with the goal of being a reusable spaceplane that can take off and land like a conventional airplane, carrying cargo and passengers into Earth orbit at a more affordable cost than existing space technologies. Proposed to be capable of reaching incredible speeds of Mach 5.5, about 6,700 km per hour, and traveling from the UK to Australia in just four hours, the plane would use an engine called Sabre, which could switch between atmospheric mode and rocket mode, allowing it to reach very high altitudes and hypersonic speeds. The project has been in development since the 1990s, and although it has encountered some obstacles, it remains an exciting and promising project in the field of aviation. Lockheed Martin SR-72 The SR-72 is a hypersonic aircraft concept designed for surveillance, reconnaissance, and attack missions proposed by Lockheed Martin in 2013. The SR-72 is intended to replace the retired Lockheed SR-71 Blackbird, which was taken out of service in 1998. The aircraft is designed to fly at hypersonic speeds of up to Mach 6, using a combined turbine and scramjet propulsion system. The aircraft will be similar in size and range to the SR-71 and is expected to enter service by 2030. The use of high-temperature-resistant composite materials will be necessary for the construction of the SR-72. Still in the conceptual phase, Lockheed Martin expects to conduct tests on an SR-72 vehicle by 2025. The aircraft is part of the U.S. Air Force's agenda to develop a hypersonic reconnaissance and strike vehicle by 2030. Falcon HTV-2 the HTV-2 is an experimental hypersonic vehicle that is part of the DARPA Falcon project, developed to fly in the Mach 20 range and serve as a basis for the development of hypersonic technologies. The HTV-2 is built with carbon composite material and has an arrowhead shape to maximize its lift-to-drag ratio. The expected surface temperature is 1,930 degrees Celsius. The project is part of the U.S. Quick Response Strategy to reach any target in the world in one hour. The vehicle is a test of innovative technologies to demonstrate the feasibility of hypersonic technologies, having a range of 17,000 kilometers, the distance between London and Sydney, and the goal of traveling that distance in just 49 minutes. Antipode Antipode is a luxury executive jet that can carry up to 10 people over 20,000 kilometers in under an hour, reaching speeds of up to Mach 24, which is almost 12 times faster than the Concorde. It can take off from any airfield due to its rocket engines attached to its wings and would be built using heat and pressure-resistant materials. The aircraft's onboard computer would then ignite its supersonic direct-flow combustion engine and accelerate up to Mach 24, channeling part of the supersonic airflow through a nozzle located at the front of the aircraft. The hardest part of building an aircraft like this would be developing a stable and reliable scramjet engine and the issue of how to alleviate the paralyzing g-forces that passengers would experience on board the aircraft. If you enjoyed it, leave your like and comment, and don't miss the opportunity, subscribe now to receive more amazing content like this, and help us reach our subscriber goal, with your help we can make it happen. And tell us in the comments below, what was your favorite airplane? And what airplane would you like to see in our next videos? Keep following us for more fascinating content, see you next time!